Hey everybody, it's Tech here. Today we're going to be looking at the newest update for Star Wars Legion Studios. This is the Legion base mod here. For Arma 3, as I call it, the Mandalorian update. Um, we're going to see a lot of Mandalorian weapons. One of my favorite weapons is returning. Now, all bias aside from what's happened in the past couple weeks, I do want to take a look at this mod and um, definitely appreciate it for being an alternative out there for Star Wars and being a mod on the workshop. So let's just get right in here and look at some of the new stuff. Like I said, this is primarily going to be a big Mandalorian uh, green for independent update. Uh, so you won't expect too much on the side of the droids essentially, but there are some good stuff for all you clone fanatics out there. So being first off here, we have the Mandalorian undersuit, which is a reminiscent of the combat outfit what is it for the AAF so it's not that bad honestly I know people have been kind of memeing on it there I'm not crazy fan about it the armor here itself though for the traditional armor it gives a lot of room for uh, improvements and definitely for retextures I think you know when you get a Boba Fett or Jango Fett look to it uh, that'll be really neat there especially for Jango um, you had some Clan Wren, some whatever for all the uh, Death Watch, Mandalorians and all of them. So, it might still be a work in progress there, refinements there, but I think for the most part, um, you tweak it up, you color it up a little bit, it won't look that bad. Uh, honestly, I do enjoy the fact that the helmet, if you take it around a little bit, you see you'll have the Mandalorian helmet, but then in the NVGs you have the rangefinder for it also. Now, I still don't like the whole uh, decision to do just this big old rectangle right there for NVGs, so there's that, but there's a workarounds for removing those. And with that, speaking of NVGs, we'll see where we have the uh, clone holograms. I think what else we got here. I think that actually might be it there just for the NVG side of things. Face wear here, we're going to go through. You can see we have the Katarn clone commando helmet interior. Looking very nice. I like how these uh, interiors turned out. I say they did do a good job on them there. Let's go through. We have the rangefinder, uh, same as before. And now we have an ARF-1 for the ARF helmets, which we'll get into the phase two interior. Kind of just hugs you right up on the mouth. Um, and the phase one interior. So there we go there. Big fan of the phase one interior. I like how it looks compared to the phase two. Uh, the where it talks about having it being a forced, uh, needing the um, uh, interiors for the helmets doesn't seem to be so for some of the helmets that I've tried out so I don't know about that one um, so we're gonna hit empty on this one go back to the headgear and actually go empty on the NVGs also go back to the headgear so yeah the Mandalorian helmet itself doesn't look bad uh, if we take off the helmet and see that's where our dude looks right, right there uh, nothing new for the um, faces uh, still messing with default arma 3 faces and whatnot so uh, if i had to pick though i think the helmet probably is the best part about everything itself the undersuit and eh, traditional helmet the traditional mandalorian um armor not that bad but the helmet i think will be uh the saving grace for the mandalorians aside from some of the cool stuff as you can see by the backpack so and just get into those backpacks already. So we have a light mercenary backpack. You got a medic backpack right there. Definitely enjoy how that looks right there. It looks really nice in my opinion. And we have the radio backpack. The radio backpack, this is what you're going to be getting there. Uh, speaking about radios, so you guys have seen how the long range looks. We actually have a new communication, Hush 98 for uh, the independents like how this one looks right here so you see we have the bottom set additional channel stereo setting uh, speakers set frequency clear frequency previous and next channels alternatives decrease volumes all that definitely like how that one looks there let's go back to the uh, backpacks i think that's actually it for the backpacks we do have some stuff here for like leg bags and whatnot i think eod no, i already had that one before belt bags stuff like that for you guys of course the hologram stuff which we'll get into uh yeah it should be it there for those 
Now on to uh, the helmets. We'll do some helmets right here. Uh, pretty much you still have the same legions you had before, but now we're expanding into the Arf helmets, which is great for all those reconnaissance nut jobs out there that we love. So we have a phase two variant and a phase one variant. Tell me which one you guys like better. I'm more of a phase one variant, honestly, when it comes to ARF helmets. Uh, this kind of reminds me too much of like a gunner look, honestly. So now uh, we have the Rex helmet, the phase one dash two helmet. Should I just call it the Rex helmet? Actually, let's see if they have a uh, Rex version of it here. I don't think they do. It doesn't look like they uh, have one, so. Now we have an engineer helmet, two twelfth variant. We got bark helmet there. Here, more. Where is it? Let's go back to uh, get the hologram helmets. Clone engineer. There we go. There she is. Of course, the arc from before in hologram. So you'll be able to uh, set up some holograms on the battle genosis or whatever uh, multi-purpose you'd want to use them for. Honestly. Definitely enjoying having the Arf Boyos back in action. And uh, honestly, that Rex helmet's pretty nice, but as an EOD boy, I think I would honestly be using some of the engineer helmets there also. So let's get out of there. Let's go to uh, uniform. Let's just give ourselves a normal uniform here. We do have a couple new uniforms, um, as you can see by the phase one variants there. Let me get rid of the vest real quick. So we have some of the phase one variants here for the uniforms and uh there's recolored on the side uh but the clone marshal commander armor here you can see with the extended uh shoulder plates right there you can see there's anything back here that looks different doesn't seem to be actually let me check the um the elbows so was a marshal yeah it just seems to be the shoulders for that one there and then the uh little potentially crooked potentially on place i don't know for the um, ranking insignia there so you can see the difference in the two there actually has some stuff right here anything on the bottom no nah, i didn't look anything there of course the hologram arm hologram arm we were talking about before there it's going to remove your uh, your head there and then when you actually put on the helmet there you go so I don't think it looks bad at all, honestly, guys. I like that. I don't know when I would use it, honestly, but I don't don't think it looks bad, honestly, at all. It's it's good. It's good. You did good. For the uniforms, uh, I think we got what one new droid. I think was that rocket one new. Potentially, I know all these other ones are still here before. So we're gonna go back to just a basic clone trooper armor and get into some of the vests. I think this is this is truly, mwah, this is the bread and butter of Legion Studios. So there's one thing that they've ever done right, I will say, it is these vests and modularity, baby. So we have the uh, combat first responders, I already had that before. Here's what I want to talk about, the assault vest. The 41st version of it from the movies, you guys might recognize there. I wanted that suspenders, mm, I wanted it, and uh, we got it, so it's cool. Uh, hologram vest also. I can add those in there. Um, I had already that before. I think we had all these before, honestly, too. Yeah. Uh, the Grenadier Vest. So that's pretty cool there. Like that one there. Uh, I think that might be it, honestly. It looks like Medic Vest. I think it got, got a touch up. I don't remember it having the insignia there before, but I might be wrong in that regard. Everything else seems to be pretty much the same. Specialist Vest is here. So. Uh, nothing new for the Mandalorian, or not Mandalorian, the, um, Commando Boyos, so, love the vest, love the vest, but, with that out of the way, let's actually get into the weaponry, though, so let's go to backpacks here, let's give ourselves a normal clone trooper backpack, uh, weapons here, I think these are all the same, except for the West Star, uh, 35SA, so, <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember this one here before. I really enjoyed this gun. I uh, got to play around with it a little bit before. I set up um, a little just scenario with some Mandalorians and clones duking out with each other. And I uh, was switching between characters. And uh, the Westar pistol here I actually really um, enjoyed. Nothing new here. Of course, you got uh, these 15 SA, 17 RG4D for the droids, and Klakos Glaco, your special Easter egg there. Uh, nothing new for the launchers there. That's it. Uh, rifles, though. 
Let's talk about these rifles. Let's start off with my baby. My baby, the Z73. She is back better than ever. Uh, she got a new scope. So she's she's a lovely one. She's beautiful. I am beyond glad that they put her back. Um, same thing for uh, Rotary, West Star, all those are the same. Now let's talk about the West Star 35S and 35C for the Mandalorians. Uh, S, here's it's going to be the longer range variant, similar to the DC-15A. Yeah, I had to make sure on that one there. It actually has a scattergun mode. I think I'll, uh, I'll give myself some ammo for that. I actually didn't try that out before. Get some scatter gun magazines there. Okay, can we load her up? Oh, <laughs> this is clearing out the area, making it a shotgun. Also, there, modularity new weapons, love it. Also, guys, uh, the Western 35C here. Now, this is just the carbine variant, so yeah, it'll just have the automatic. That guy went flying, so. Of course, those are main warning weapons there. Anything else here? We got mercenary sniper rifle. This one's a beauty, isn't she? She's got a great story behind her. They so got the mercenary. Boom. Of course, don't forget, bullet drop is a thing. These, uh, these lasers are dropping, so whether you hate or you love them. Uh, I think there might be, um, it was talked about before, a way to remove the bullet drop. So, the LS-150 heavy repeater. Let's get right into this one. This one's... This is your mercenary minigun right here. And it's a big... And this is a Trandoshan weapon, actually. I should say that. So, if I do remember, that will be a Trandoshan weapon. All these guys are pretty much the same. Um, let's see if anybody else got any new... Um, got hologram carbine. Looks like nobody ever really gets uh, muzzle or anything like that. Or rails. Mostly just sights, it looks like. Uh, unless you're the... Um, this weapon here for the commandos. There we go. They have all the attachments there. Uh, the ECP R, another Trandoshan weapon. You guys might have seen this from um, Republic Commando. The ACP A, another one. Here's a shotty. And so that's pretty much going to do it here for the weapons here, but we want to end it on a really big note. So I'm going to take it over to Eden Editor real quick, uh, go to Virtual Reality, and uh, we got the Hover Tank in here. So the Saber Tank is in the mod, which is pretty exciting. So if you go to Tanks, we got a Hover Tank here. It plays the character. And uh, interior looks great, exterior looks great. You can turn out. I'm a big fan of that. I don't know about y'all, but so here we go. We can turn out as the commander. There you go. We can see ourselves right there. Looks nice. Looks pretty nice. So it moves nice. It's not. It's not flying all over the place. I do enjoy that. So let's um, let's see. Let's turn back in real quick. So here's the interior design of it. Let's go to driver's seat. So uh, you really you can't really see too much of where you're going unless you look straight down. So uh, there's that one for the, the driver's seat. Definitely the commander seat is going to be your best view, honestly. Uh, but the gunner seat. Now the gunners, though, um, when it comes to firing in first person, it doesn't really work out. So when you right click, you to get the precise aim there. We got cannons. You got mini spikes, and of course the MG for those. And uh, that's gonna do it here for looking at the latest update. For <laughs> where is this guy going? <laughs> oh man! So that's gonna do it here for looking at the latest update for Legion Base. Of course, the link will be down in the description. Go check out the mod. And uh, with that aside, everybody have a good day, and we'll see you all next time.